Morning. This is Arnie Waters, otherwise known as Nanook of the North. We've had more snow in Boston than we usually have in a whole winter. But let's get back to basics. The municipal markets, that is state and government finance, are in a terrible situation. They're in a terrible situation because in most states, the principal sources of revenue are sales taxes and property taxes. Property tax collections and sales tax collections are way down. In addition, there are many mandated programs nationally that are not funded correctly locally. By that, I mean the federal government, which I'm for, uh, makes instructions to the states, and the states, because of the federal government process, don't get the money to implement them. In addition, states for a long time, and I, I don't think this is unique to Massachusetts, one of the attractions of state government has been a very healthy pension. So in other words, you're in 20 years or 25 years, and unlike private sector situations of today, you will receive a very large pension that's completely predictable. Well, those pensions are based on the performance of the pension funds. So if the pension funds get hammered, the fact of the matter is that your states have to step up and provide the money. This is called the unfunded pension liability. In fact, this is an extraordinarily serious problem. I state without fear of contradiction that no private company would be able to pull the stunts that states have been doing, and cities, and other localities, because they've been carrying these obligations without the money to provide for them. So you've got a triple whammy, decreased in income, a decrease in income, an increase in expenses, and recognition of unfunded pension liabilities. So these are three reasons why we wrote yesterday that if you'd like to get some credit analysis done of your municipal bond holdings, please contact me on 781-380-8888. But even if you don't contact us, call your stockbrokers, call your friends, do your own analysis, figure out what the backing of the specific municipal bonds that you own have. Now, our second issue, and in our usual discursive way, we're skipping around. The real problem in the American economy for the consumer is not job loss. It's a decline in wages. It is quite common for people who were making as much as $100,000 a year to now be working on minimum wage. I don't care if those people get jobs. What those jobs they have now means that, in effect, they are screwed they are not able to earn at a level they were accustomed to. And what that means is when you look at consumer spending, you're really looking at a tiny slice of the public rather than the broad support that has existed. I am dubious that over the next 12 months, we will continue to see the high level of consumer participation that we saw in the last 60 days of 2010. So aim for the ice flows, not the open water. This is Arnie Waters, Nanook of the North. Have a great day.